my allergies have been bad, so I'm trying to deal with the morning stuff. Good morning, people. I washed my hair, so I didn't get down here until like 6 12. And if I go to the bathroom for longer than like one minute, it's like all of a sudden 10 minutes is gone. I'm like, where did it go? Anyway. Last night I made the mistake of watching the video from one year ago and it was Sebastian starting homeschool kindergarten. Oh my gosh, that made it hard to go to sleep because I just miss it so much. I wish I could still do that, but actually do co-ops and classes and get involved. It's tricky though because like the homeschool community is, there's a good percentage that's like anti-vax. So that's tricky if we were to do co-ops. It was a main reason why during the pandemic we didn't do anything. All of Sebastian's classes closed down and we just, it was very lonely for him so he's very excited to go and make friends, understandably. I just miss it already. It's gonna be a hard rest of the week. The dog is already up at the gate I'm trying to get back up there. <laughs> uh, I guess I could open it and you could just go find Danny. Bedroom door, like I'm just gonna open it. He can go through. Sorry about the air conditioner. He could just go through the nursery. It's open. <laughs> I don't like to leave the gate open because Sebastian's sleepy when he wakes up, but the dog's gonna sit there crying otherwise. Anyway, since it is not a school day till tomorrow, we do not have to wake up Sebastian right now. Normally I would, but I'm just going to sit and have some coffee.
Hello everyone. Do I even have anything today? We are at Hello, the mall. I've got my mask here because nobody's around. Hello. This morning we went and did the desk setup for Sebastian as you saw. There's a few things that get into a little pencil box and the rest they sorted out and the teacher will maintain them. Then these guys got two shots. They got COVID booster and flu. Awesome job. So then we went and fed them lunch. Here's your section, Sebastian, I think. Maybe two to seven, yeah. I fed them lunch and now we're trying to find some sort of a back to school outfit. It's gonna be really hot tomorrow. So I feel like it's just gonna end up being more junky summer clothes, but I don't know. Yeah, let's go find something. I am in Jax's room. <laughs> I was going through all his clothes. I just pulled out stuff that doesn't fit so we can actually fit his clothes in his drawers. He needs to clean his desk. And yeah, tomorrow's school. And, there, and I guess the mowers are out there. Not our mowers, but the neighborhood ones. Danny went off to get burgers. Are you gonna charge your watch? Oh, And yeah, I don't have anything else for you, sorry. for bed. I just took a bath. It is, I think, 7.54, but my watch is charging right now. Let's see. We spoke at the mall. Oh, that was exhausting. Basically, I took the boys to the doctor after Sebastian's little open house desk setup thing and they knew they were gonna get COVID shots. Jackson wasn't uh, completely sure if he would. We were waiting to see if they thought we should wait or do the current shot. They did recommend he go ahead and get the current shot. So right at the last second, I'm like, so our flu shot's out yet. I'd like to add that on. And they were just like, two shots. Both of them got pissed off. <laughs> well, not pissed off, they were like, <gasps> The world is ending. I was like, I'll get you fancy drinks like a promise, but I'll also get you a prize. <laughs> I promise them prizes. They made it through. Not I was happy, but they did it. We got both the flu shot and the COVID shot the day before school, so. Yeah, don't need to jinx anything. Everybody's doing good. Sebastian's a little tired, but he keep, he's been waking up very early, so. I mean, hours walking around the mall could do that to anybody who's been up since six but yeah we made it through that and headed to the mall fed them right away i just nibbled off some of their french fries and got myself a lemonade and then we started shopping jacks immediately found a splatoon manga that he definitely wanted even to love it so it was only 9.99 so that set our budget and it took a long time to find something for Sebastian. I was suggesting like these little Pokemon Lego balls. They're a different brand that connects, but like, it's like a Pokeball and you open it and then it has the little figure you can build. But we didn't end up finding one of those, but we found a set of an outlet store that was even bigger. 
normally $15 and it was $9.99 so I was able to get that. Clothing wise, all they ever want to wear is cozy bottoms. Sebastian usually wants to wear shorts. So Jacks always wear sweatpants. And then they want like graphic tees, I guess you call them. Picture tees. And they have so many. And I messaged Danny, I'm like, this is all they want. And, uh, and he's like, well, that's all kids seem to wear. So it was going to be a nice surprise to him. How are you doing? How are you doing? Okay, five minutes. What? what? You have a beard. A bubble beard. But a bubble beard. That's okay. They're not toxic. <laughs> I am sometimes toxic. All right. So, yeah, what it came down to is I just had to give in to that. Jax have already bought him a bunch of sweatpants for the school year because his were getting too short. He didn't understand why he needed new ones. He thought it was perfectly fine that they were like five inches higher than his shoes, but he's got new pants. So I took him ultimately to Hot Topic where he can fit into most size small men's now. They're a little big, but totally look cool. And he chose a Kirby shirt. And then I ended up going to the store at the children's place. So creative for those of you in other countries. Yeah, it's just called the children's place. I used to buy clothes there when I was little. They had one in my mall when I was growing up and it had actually a climbing jungle gym, like a tree house kind of thing with a slide. I used to go up there while my dad was paying. But Sebastian at first was going to pick up a shirt that had a video game controller and this is my game time or something. I'm like, dude, you have like four of those. Like some that you've gotten and some that are hand-me-downs from your brother. You really don't need that. But he found a dinosaur and he's opening up a bag that says Dino Burgers and like freaking out over his burger and it says Veggie Burger. <laughs> it was like a T-Rex. So that was really cute. And then he actually said he wanted some pants, which is nice because he'll have those for the fall, even though it's going to be like 90s. <laughs> But I don't know if it's going to be tomorrow, probably. We're, we're going to have another streak of really hot weather. But he chose pants and so I grabbed a pair of sweatpants in like a brownish orange color that match the shirt. Like some of the designs on the shirt, the burger. Because at that point, everybody was like exhausted. We had had lunch, we had found prizes, we had gotten Jackson's t-shirt. And then I had to stop to get them their special drinks that they requested. Both wanted something from a different place, so that was exhausting. I ended up getting a half-calf Americano, like a little one, and using my Starbucks stars to get a croissant. And we each we split it three ways just for a little like calorie boost. And that was when we went and got Sebastian's clothes. Yeah, I was just like, your size, hold it up, good, it's old, let's go check out. <laughs> we just needed to get home, it was like almost four. We got home at four, and Danny came up and was like, I really want french fries, even though the kids had had fries for lunch with chicken. And he offered to go to our favorite burger place, which is, doesn't deliver, we have to go pick it up. It's a madhouse, we can't really eat there, because there's like one tiny table outside. But it's so good. And he went out and dealt with bad traffic doing that. And while he was there, I was in Jackson's room going through all his old clothes so that I could actually fit his clothes into his dresser. They hadn't been in there in a while because he was too full. There were so many sweatshirts that he doesn't wear that were too small that I had him try on. So later I'm going to have to go through those two grocery bags of stuff to see what we're going to keep and what we're going to throw away, like dirty socks and what we'll donate. That was that, and we finished eating around seven, and then Amazon finally came with like Jax's lunch bag and lanyard, which I found out today. They do recommend you have a lanyard in middle school because you're, you'll get a school ID. That's also your way of paying for like lunch stuff and snacks. And apparently last year they gave the lanyard, so they can't afford that this year. So it was a good thing that I had ordered 
a lanyard thinking, well, maybe he wants to wear a sanitizer or wants to clip his mask on. I was just, I'm trying to think of everything, but it turns out he does need a, a badge holder, so oh, that's gosh, it's doing well. I need to go check again. So I found, I was just searching based on what could come the next day. Oh, I thought that was him and it's like people outside yelling down the street. But it's like a two halo badges on, you can't see that at all. They're like Master Chief and at least one of them says halo. I don't think I picked it up. And it comes with the badge holder. That one says halo. So yeah, he, he thinks they're really cool. So I've got two to choose from. I did get Sebastian one because I didn't want him to feel left out and he doesn't need a badge holder because his teacher's going to hand out his cards whenever he needs to pay for lunch. We don't trust them with them. But I did order this because it was like three dollars so I'm so it's probably bootleg. And then I, I got a sanitizer holder today for $1.99 so if he ends up wanting to do that I feel like he's gonna be my one that's not wearing a mask and not sanitizing and getting snotty <laughs> but whatever all right you need to start cleaning up I'll be right hold on I'll be right there anyway I'm gonna go over here to say goodnight so he doesn't get mad so good night friends I'll see you tomorrow for the first day of school, I don't know how much I can film because I avoid other kids in my shots and I'm probably going to be crying when he gets on the bus and after. Oh. <sighs> I was like crying reading that little letter out loud to the family. No, but I, I was holding it in. I was trying not to cry. Anyway, friends, stay safe, be kind, and don't forget, wash your hands.